guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a haul video for you today, um, and I have a ton of stuff. I've recorded this video like 500 times, and every time I've tried to record it, I've either accidentally deleted the file, um, the file got corrupted, or something wrong always <laughs> happened. So I'm gonna try this again, because uh, I really wanna get this video out to you guys and show you everything I got. And um, I'm gonna kinda speed through these because I have a ton of stuff uh, and they're all in front of me. And I think how I'm gonna organize this is by series. So yeah, without further ado, please make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. It would really mean a lot to me. Um, and let's get started. So the first item I'm going to show you guys is from Kill a Kill and it is the only Kill a Kill item I have that I bought in this haul. I did buy it from a person on my figure collection and they added a ton of like bonus gifts with it. So uh, they commented on my video at one point. So if you're still watching my channel, hi, hello. Thank you so much for the bonus gifts. I appreciate it so much. It made my day. Oh my god, because uh, they went on my profile on there and saw all the anime that I liked and kind of added stuff based on what I liked. So anyways, the item I purchased from them uh, was, it was this new in mint in box uh, Matoi Nendroid in her jersey uniform and she is so freaking cute. I love her. Honestly, if it wasn't for Ryuko, I probably would have dropped the series. Is that controversial to say? I know it's really popular, but at some point it got too much for me, but I absolutely freaking love Ryuko that I stayed watching it and yeah, she is by far so freaking adorable. It's such a good character. Love her. And then really quick, I'll just go through all the bonus items they added in. So the first bonus items they added in were from uh, Bungo Stray Dogs. All right, so I'm gonna go through these really quick. So I have this giant rubber strap of, uh, I call him Lemon Grab because I can never remember his name. So we just call him Lemon Grab from Adventure Time. Um, we have Octagawa, Chuya, and I, I always forget her name. I think it's Hitagi. I could be like completely off and I think I am so forgive me um, but that's her <laughs> uh, and then we have this Kyoka heart shaped badge which I love heart shaped badges because they're just less boring uh, than the circle badges so I have one of Kyoka and then I have two Atsushi badges right over here and then I have this giant Atsushi Cafe badge, which I always love the cafe collaborations that they do with anime. I think it's so freaking cute of them like dressing up in like waitress or like barista uniforms. So freaking cute. And then they saw that I like JJK. So they added this cute Megumi rubber keychain. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but he's doing that little dog spirit thing. I don't know what it's called to be honest, you guys. I don't know how any of their the sorcery stuff works um but i'm in for the ride anyway so they added haikyuu also um and i thought this was a postcard or like a photo card but it's actually a giant freaking sticker and i'm honestly going to treat this like a photo card just because i don't want to ruin the sticker but there is my boy oikoa uh in all his glory waving absolutely love them and then they added some kuroko's basket merch and I guess they knew that Kisei was my favorite because uh, I have this cute Halloween Kisei badge. Isn't he not so cute? Oh my god. I have that and then I have this Kuroko and Kisei mini transparent bookmark thing is what I'm gonna call it. I don't know but it's super cute. And then I have this mini sticker set. These are all individual stickers and there is my boy on his phone. Uh, and then last but not least they added they also added some sweets but those are gone or candies they're gone uh, but last but not least they added this mini poster uh, and it's double-sided and I think this is really cute because this side particularly reminds me of those old 2000s magazines where um, you'd have a poster inside of it and it'd be like big time rush or something and I think that's really cute and I love that so thank you again for adding those in my package. 
absolutely loved them. So moving on, we are going to move on to some JJK merch that I bought. And they are two plushies that I absolutely love collecting. And they are the um, Nitotan plushies of Yuji and Megumi. And yeah, I mean, do I need to say more? They are so freaking cute. I already have Nobara, Inumaki, uh, Gojo, and yeah, I think that's it. I have Gojo, Nobara, and Inumaki, yeah. So I wanted to complete the set and I got these guys too and I think they're so freaking cute. Um, the Gojo I have is the version without his blindfold because I just love seeing his eyes. I mean, who doesn't? Again, I'm trying to speed through this, you guys. <laughs> um, next up, we're going to look at uh, some case study of Venitas merch that I got. I miss this show already and oh my god. So the first item is actually an item I don't usually buy but I saw this one and I really like the art on it and I like the colors and how they popped and the saturation of it and uh, I love the background. I don't know. It just intrigued me but it is this cushion of Venitas on one side and Noe on the other and I actually initially wanted to buy uh, two of these so I can display one side with Venitas and one side with Noe so I couldn't really find another one with a decent price so I just stuck with this one but uh, I guess I'll just have to like change the sides weekly or something um, I don't know so I have that and then I have more plushies so these are from a crane game in Japan but I bought these off of someone on Baiyi and they are these adorable Venitas and Noe plushies. I mean, you guys, are these not the cutest things you've ever seen? Oh my freaking gosh, they are adorable. Oh my God, I am in love. So freaking cute. You've probably already seen this in one of my um, previous videos where I show how I display my acrylic charms and in the end I show how I display my plushies. So those were in that video, but um, they were part of the haul. Um, last Venitas, uh, case study of Venitas item I have are these two mini shikishi boards. I feel like I'm talking too fast for my brain to process what I'm saying, but here we go. Um, I have these two mini shikishi boards and I think they are so stunning, just the aesthetic of them all. Uh, just, oh my God, like the colors and um, this series already has just stunning colors and artwork. So I'm, I'm not surprised that any art that comes out of these guys are going to be stunning as well. I mean, look at that. Oh my God. I cannot stop staring at these, honestly. I'm in love with them. Um, but yeah, those are the two Shikishi boards that I got. And that is actually all I have purchased of the case study of Anitas. So next series we are moving on to is one of my favorite series of all time noragami so first off i have this item i purchased from etsy the artist is lionheart pins so if you want to go give them a follow they're on etsy and they are on instagram so you can check them out and i've had my eye on this item for a while but um i finally gave in and purchased it and i'm so glad that i did because it looks so stunning and the camera i know is not going to do it justice but it's this enamel pin that actually comes in two pieces it's an enamel pin of hiyori and yato in that umbrella scene and it is one of my favorite scenes in the series so again the the camera doesn't do it justice but it looks so good and i have it on my pin board and it looks so freaking amazing you guys it's adorable next item i have is actually a recent i did not know about this but this is like the most recent merch of noragami that came out i think within the past year correct me if i'm wrong if anybody knows but i was so surprised that they were still making noragami merch even like though there isn't another uh season announcement so <laughs> you guys I freaked out and I got, oh my god, I have this Yato Yukine and Hyori acrylic charm. You guys, they are so freaking cute. Look at the art on this. It's, oh my god, 
I am so and then Yato has his like freaking crown. It's so cute. I'm so happy. I'm like turning red. Oh my god. Um but yeah, so cute. And then uh, I actually have acrylic stands in these. They're kind of small. So here is uh, Yato and the base has their uh, names. And then here is Hyori. Also, I love that the base not only has their names, but it's not this like plain color. It has like some like watercolor splotches, sort of. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. Um, here's Hyori. And I love that they're all holding flowers. I think it's so cute. I love the pose and everything. And here is Yukine. It's kind of hard to see his name just because it's white on yellow, but it's there. So freaking cute. I love this. There is one of Kazuma and Bishaman, but I didn't get those. Um, my main focus was just getting, honestly, the main three first. And then eventually if I want the other two, I will get them. So one last Noragami item that I purchased came in this box and it is a mug and they have several they have like three different mug designs I think but this one is my favorite one and it is of Hyori and Yato and I absolutely love the colors and I love this almost I don't know if you can see that but it's like this manga panel screen print design I think it's so freaking cute and I love it and I I'll probably drink from it once and never again um but just for the experience you know just 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 say I drink from it so happy I love this so much um any piece of Norigami merch that I get makes me so happy you guys but um I will not ramble on about that uh so moving on <laughs> moving on I have two figures from Fruits Basket and I have a little story about this one, so let me speak through. <laughs> okay, so first one I got was this uh, Yuki figure with his little Zodiac rat, and I got it off of eBay. And they did have it in stock at the Crunchyroll store online site, but they were the same price, I think, except eBay was going to ship it faster to me, so I just bought it off eBay. And yeah, I absolutely love this. Uh, I will put a B-roll if I haven't already. I have a Kyo one as well. And Kyo, the story with how I got Kyo is I got him off the Crunchyroll store. There was two left in stock and y'all, on eBay he's like $400. There's no way this is worth $400, you guys. Not over my dead body, this is worth $400. So he, I had just finished the series and I think like a week later, I went on the Country Roll store and, and by miracle, there was two left. So I bought one and then I went on Twitter and I went on his My Figure Collection page uh, and uh, posted that there was one left in stock. Of course, I got mine first. <laughs> um, and I think somebody else got to it. Country Roll claims that the items that they ship out are new. However, when I got this, the box was all damaged and the tape seal was already opened and it wasn't the postal service that opened it because the actual shipping box was completely sealed and didn't look tampered with. So I looked it up and a lot of other customers had the same problem with the Crunchyroll store sending items like that and I messaged them, I messaged Crunchyroll and they offered either a I think it was five or ten dollar refund or I can send it back but they assured me that everything they send is new and checked through which sorry my floor is cracking um, which I don't believe because there was also a hair in it so uh, thankfully the figure looks new like it's like new there is no damage to it or anything it was just the box and the inside of the box and the seal was broken so uh, I ended up just taking that five or ten dollar refund and keeping the figure because I'm honestly this $400 on eBay is not gonna cut it for me <laughs> so yeah that's the story on that okay so that was that's the story on those figures um, next up I have one last item that I purchased that's part of this haul and you guys it is a holy grail item and I have a story about this too 
surprised. It is this Evangelion Misato figure. Y'all. Uh, this is by Kotobukiya and it is a 1-6 scale. I was going to make an unboxing of this or upload an unboxing of this, but those are one of the videos that I kind of screwed up. So um, here it is. You will be getting a b-roll of her though. Uh, I freaking love her and so here, here's the story of this. I had pre-ordered the Mega House Misato that just recently came out. Uh, she was supposed to be released in May but I was going back and forth on whether I liked her or not and I couldn't decide and she ended up getting re-released till June. In June I have another pre-order that's really expensive, an expensive figure and there was no way that I can afford both figures in the same month. So I ended up taking that as a sign and canceling her and now I have her and I love her so much more. Uh, so yeah, I'm not even mad that I had to cancel that uh, Misato because this is literally the best Misato figure out there. I will fight anyone on that. Just look at her. She is the biggest scale figure I have so far. Previously, my biggest scales were that Megumi and the two Gojos over here. Uh, they are one seventh. Uh, she is a one sixth and I freaking love her. This base is her workplace kind of falling apart is what I'm guessing. And I think it would look so cute displayed next to them. And that's what I've been doing. I've been displaying her next to these guys, Shinji and Kaoru, because I think the base sort of matches. I mean, kind of. And yeah, I just, I freaking love her. The only problem I have is how she sits on the base. She kind of just, there's nothing connecting her to the base. She's just sitting like that. This is the same problem I had with the Mappa Showcase Gojo where he's sitting down on the base. And someone said that it would be nice if there was a magnet inside that. So when Gojo sat down, it would attach uh, to the base. He would attach to the base. And I think that's such a great idea. And that would also work so well with this because one wrong movie all and it's over for them and over for us. So yeah, that's my only issue, but her freaking necklace is real thread. I mean, oh my God, you guys, she is just so stunning. I love her so much. Oh my God, you guys, best Misato figure out there. I love her. I think she's amazing. I'm so happy that I have her. I have been um, on months that I don't have pre-orders scheduled. I have been trying to get Holy Grail figures and she was one of them. I do have a holy grail figure that I've had uh, for a while and haven't unboxed yet on camera so I am planning on doing that soon so stay tuned for that. I don't know when I'm gonna upload that or unbox it. It's been sitting at the bottom of my shelf for so freaking long. I need to unbox it uh, but yeah that's the Misato figure I got, so I'm really happy about that. And yeah, I think that's about it. That's all the items I bought in this haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I am planning on maybe, maybe doing a, another haul video soon. Probably not as big as this one was, but I will be uploading a mini one. Um, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.